Is that a mid one hero? I'm Everything's a mid one. Hero. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Let's see. Last pick will be the <laughs> Pudge. Oh, Here we shit. go. And a Slark. Pretty strong lane on LGD's side, oh. right? Midwin still has three stacks on him. That was really well done by Maybe. He's keeping them up so that he can continue threatening Pudge under tower. Doesn't have, he has mana in two. Mid one might need to be a little bit careful. Just get a right click. The stacks do wear off. Getting there. Top lane. We've seen a lot of pressure. There's the cold snap again. Ame's only level one, just getting smacked up. There's going to be the toss. That's going to be a first blood. He said it'd be a second. And with that Bassy level one. He just solo killed a mid. I watched it. He went for the range creep on Pudge and maybe read him like a book, hit him with the short range, hit him with the medium, and then hit him with the long. Yep. And he had his chicken coming out. Well, he didn't have any regen coming out. Do you almost, I mean, obviously you just want to rot and die instead and feed a little bit of gold there. You're seeing the rune spawn. It will be an arcane rune up top, I'm sure. Shadow Fiend would love to get this. Mid one's going to have to deny it, though. Just go take it himself because he's already getting low. He has to pop his healing self he just brought. Top lane again, X Nova. In trouble, goes down, Zy goes down as well, and this is a, a bloodbath up top. Boots, Bassy already up on the Invoker. I'm surprised. I thought I thought bottom lane, you've got a Rubik, you've got a Sand King. I thought you were going to be getting some kills, but no, it's all top. Wow. Somnus having a, an absolutely great time here. Yeah, but it's all about the Pudge 6. This lane changes dramatically once that... You gotta always watch out for online. TPs, right? That's when that's when lanes start shifting up. You get a hook, you get a dismember. People are just gonna start TPing in, and mayhem begins. Up top, there will be a bash. There's gonna be an EMP. No one wants to lose all their mana, but it looks like Ame he'll lose a decent chunk. There's gonna be the tornado. He's taking so um, much damage. He's just gonna go down. What? Yeah, Nisha committed with Nisha the leash well, to try to get the sand king, and instead the sand king just turned around Folks and first striked him. And Zai, yeah, still going in. There's going to be a spirit. He's going to try to refresh it. He's doing 200 damage a hit. Let's see what he can do here. Zero Bop. zero. He needs two more hits, it looks like. Toss to the tower. Back. Oh, yep. man. Is he under the tower? There is. There's going to be two tower hits. There's going to be a kill. Zai baits him in. And wow, Yaps or Zai, they are, they are having a good time. You see the Void has 1911 CS, but two deaths now. Mid lane. Oh. They're going to try to push forward. Somnus, 39 and 20, having an absolute great game. But guess who's here? It's Zai. He's going to try to find the oh, toss. He gets the range creep instead. Puppy TP's in. Now they're going to try to turn it onto this FY Rubik. It's a 3v2, but it feels like LGD's the more scary. <laughs> nice people. hook. Nice hook, though. FY will get brought down. He's just going to try to chase after him. There will be the tree No flesh heap stack. Gets the kill. That is three heroes rotated. And he's still going to pick up the rune here. It's a haste rune as well. This is scary, Zai. You know, be careful for this toss. Yeah, he's going to toss one. Still not level six on the pudge, though. And there's going to be two raises. He's going to go in for this kill. He gets the third raise. And there's going to be the fade bolt. FY will take that. Zai is going to throw out his stun. There's going to be a tornado as well. I just don't think they can bring him down. He has treads double rape, and he might turn it. And this farm on Shadow Fiend feels so scary right now if you're secret. And there's going to be the lift. There's going to be a raise. There's going to be a second raise. And there's going to be an easy kill. Get out of mid, knowing yep. where he needs to be on the uh -oh. map with his hero. Talking about mid now, it's a level six Pudge. He's running over here, try to kill these mud golems. Chalice knows something's up because his smoke break. There is going to be a chrono up top. Zai goes down, but now mid one is getting initiated on. There's going to be a stun. There's going to be a stomp. Fade Bolt flies in as well. Yeah, mid both. one drops. And this PSG LGD, they're looking great right now. Yeah, I love how Somnus left the lane, and then the minute his team comes back. The reason why you don't want to stay in lane is because you're heroes from Seeker right now. And that's a TP in. This Pudge doesn't know Chalice is right under him. Maybe he does. He's not scared. There will be a Dust Pop Puppies here as well now. It's going to be a four on three fight. There's going to be a nice double stun. He's still in the Sandstorm. They're taking so much damage. Zai's just going to run in. He's going to get the stun toss combo up on. There's going to be a Tornado hitting what? onto four of them. No one's dead quite yet. They're going to look for the Shadow Fiend. This would be a big kill, but mid one just gets turned on right clicked down. There's going to be regen rune used by Zai. They kill the Elder Titan, Zai, get a toss in, Puppy. Hello, Somnus. There's a stun by Chalice. They want to try to save him. The Cold Snap stopping him from doing anything. Guess who's here? It's going to be Nisha. you got to bring the numbers. Chalice might be the next one to go down. That's a triple kill for Nisha. He doesn't have the pounce, but he doesn't need it. Now what? he will. This could be a rampage at nine minutes in. No, because the other heroes top calm down. Settle down, Myself. Grant. There's literally <laughs> nobody within 6,000 units. Oh, that's why I'm not a huge fan no. of the hero. In this current meta, Middle there's lane. a lot of fighting going on. They're actually just on. diving under the tower right now. X Nova gonna get right clicked down. Can't even get the stomp and give me that flesh heap. That's Mid one's on the board. Yep, yeah. on the board, baby. 
Need any of that. You already see Zai. He's hasty. He's looking again. He's like, wait, one person fell for it. Somnus hiding on the right side on the trees, and now they're pushing this middle tower. Looks like LGD might have taken a very early. There's going to be a lift up. Will he be able to raise? They pop the drums. They just want to run in. Will there be an eat? There will be, but it's going to be a kill. Stun flies out from Zai. Won't do too much. Bottom lane. Will get the pounce up. Chalice gets the stun. Here comes the ulti as well. Will he just run away? Nisha says goodbye. That's why I love phase boots on Slark, because even when you're not in your ultimate, the extra movement speed boost is just so nice. This top tower, by the way, Looks like Ame might be able to take it down with this Siege Creep. He's actually moving forward, wants to kill Puppy. He does have the Chrono as well if he wants to use it on Yapsor. Not quite, he's just oh, continuing to double push. Bash. And oh my goodness, just melts him down. There's a lot of heroes here. They do need to be careful for that Chrono. Zai, he doesn't really have mana either. And I think Ame's like, wait a minute, he really doesn't. Purpose, I think that there's just other items. Probably way more Ross Rapidly. There we go in, will be the EMP, stuns out before, will get frozen in place. There is going to be the urn on top with the cold snap puppy just going to throw out the ulti. Chalice though, as you said, he has a hood, he doesn't really care. And now Ame just comes down here, puppy's like, I'm just going to keep letting it rip. No bash yet, finally gets one, gets a second one as well, needs about two more attacks, goes for the freeze, throws out the Nova, <laughs> but will just go down. He canceled the, uh, the W so that he could wait for the cooldown on Q and get those three creeps before he died. I get it. Efficiency. Baller. And now top lane, they're diving. X Nova looks to be in a ton of trouble. Slark wants this plus one agility, going for the stomp. Toss up. Nisha gets the kill, and this should be a tier one tower as well. Oh, but the Midas is up. It is. Luckily, look at that. Oh, gets it. Two seconds. Mid one's pose was way better, though. Just There's going to be the tornado. There. They go. Nisha hasn't shown himself quite yet. There's going to be a cold snap stun as well. Nisha's just on top of Somnus. There's going to be a fade bolt, so he's doing a lot less damage. Toss, toss. him away to try to save him. There's going to be another toss back. There's just two tosses everywhere. Zai's just getting bashed up. And there's just going to be one kill in this fight, it looks like. Maybe Zai almost gets out, but Ame will bring him down. Space made, though. Both uh, Puppy and Mid one farming, uh, farming lanes. It's PSGLGD group up as five. They do have a 3k lead on the Chinese stack, though, so. Oh, hooks over the regen rune. So with this blink dagger, do you start getting Cold a lot snap. more aggressive? Can't cast Chrono. He's in a little bit of trouble. The stun comes out now. He's going to throw the Chrono. Whoa, oh. he whiffs it right there. But he, no, he gets it on top of the Slark just barely. And they do actually get the kill. Pardon me, 432 gold going his way. They're going to try to turn it around now. Shadow Fiend just throwing out a lot of raises. That ulti gets canceled. And guess what? You bring the numbers. You get the win. There's a nice stun, not even a blink. There will be another one coming out from Zai, though. The Avalanche, it won't matter. And that's a stolen. They just get out of there. Whew. That Chrono is perfect. It did catch the Slark, and yeah, he did. put and it to it where did. he... Um, he fakes out the Chrono. They do have Blink Tiny. Yeah, but uh oh this oh, Tiny won't be able to Blink right now. Yeah, there's going to be a Bash, and he just pops the BKB. He doesn't care. There's Earth Splitter as well. Puppy is there. Will he pop the Chrono? No. Let's him go, and now we do see Nisha. He's just running. He's like, I'm gone. Yep. Midas up. Yeah, PSGLG, they are strong now. You've got the BKB timing. It's, it's go. And you want to click and had to use the ulti himself. Thought he might get chronoed there. And they're going to oh, turn no, around. Zai's right. in a little bit of trouble. He gets his blink canceled by the spirit. Gets fade bolted again. Gets stomped. They're setting it up. But the there hook. We, we see the save. There's a lot of heroes. Chalice actually going to move forward. They want to get this tiny. They still have the chrono. Need to be careful. Zai, he's there just getting right click. There's going to be a nice stun toss, but it won't be enough to save him. Or is it? Tornado goes up. Blink he one. bottles up a little bit and he blinks away. There's the chrono, though. They're going to see two of them. These, like, someone else can kill him. There's going to be the hook out on Yapsor. Will they be able to chase him? Chalice is there following. And this looks to be a three for zero trade. The long range, even though you got the punch saving, it feels like this Sand King and Rubik can move around and just catch up to anyone you hook right now. And it's going to be so hard for Slark to actually hit anybody. They have two BK fly, right? Like yes. This guy FY just has God. that next level on, on land. They're going to go in. He is just going to eat the, get the eat off, but there's going to be a BKB pop by Nisha. Same with Ame. They're just squaring up against each other. He is going to finally pop his ulti. He's stealing a ton of agility, but Puppy, he just gets turned on. What's he doing over here? Yapsor will save him for now. Puppy will get the freeze. Hits him with the time dilation. They want to chase him down. There's going to be X Nova actually dying to Nisha, who's stolen quite a bit of agility right now. That will be the kill on Crystal Maiden. And a one for one trade, or two for one, pardon me. And, well, they're just going to pop the shrine for man. They still have Chrono, so I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if they just go. Pudge now, so you can actually cancel it with that. They're going to move forward. They're going to find Yaps, or he does get a nice tornado off, but it won't be nice enough. Gets brought down immediately, and now Nisha. Do you think about chronoing this? X Nova. 
Yep, there it oh, is. There's going to be the Chrono. He just or get a right two. click him. Yeah, he's taking so much damage right now. He just gets brought down immediately. Level 20 on his faceless Void. He's got that cast range mid one. Trying to run away. He has the rod slow, so you can't get him in melee range. But guess what? It won't matter. They're chasing. They want more. They want to finish this off. There's only Zion Puppy left. And it looks like they will get away. It is nighttime. And guess what? You got the three hero kills. See you at the Roche pit. Not very often. Can he does come out. Will we get a bash? Not quite yet. He's still trying to run. There will be the bash. Sandstorm damage there as well. Slowly getting brought down. And Zai trying to make a little bit of space, trying to get that tower. Won't be able to, and it looks like it will get denied. He did buy his echo before he died, however. He did. So no gold lost. Going for the Aghanims next. Damage. There's Balance. the hook. It baits out the BKB immediately, but it Jesus. might just bait out his own death instead. He is doing a lot of right click damage. They're just going to clear oh, out the creeps, off. and they're going for base. Yeah, the tornado actually hits him. Puppy, will he go down? One more hit. Oh, needed two oh. more hits. Dire Curry actually ends up going down with three sentries from the behind stomp. his knee shot. <sighs> oh, too late. Well, this is going to be possibly a tier three. Let's see if they want to go for it. Nisha just cutting the creep wave. Killed. The and they're just going to find Puppy instead, the sacrificial lamb. Might just use there. And it's going to be a, looks like Bloodthorn next for the Faceless Void. That's going to be a ton of damage, and he's already 5k of the way there. Elsewhere. Enough damage. I got I to say, it. We, we haven't really called it out yet, but mid one is currently 0, 8, and 7. And uh-oh. Well, I lied. He is now a 0, 9, and 7 as your middle player, and that does not feel good. He has to buy back even right now. That feels like a big difference. He is currently fourth to last on the net worth charts. It's also a last pick, so it's yeah. supposed to have a good game. Oh, and there's going to be the Chrono. He turns it. Will they be able to find Nisha? He does oh. hook him out. He gets the E, but he pops the BKB. They get him in time. There's going to be the Epicenter as well doing so much damage. They're just going to chase down Puppy. He tries to get away, and he will for now. Mid one blinks forward. Doesn't have to dismember yet. Oh, and there's a four staff FY. There will be a toss in there. Huh, Can they find sick. Chalice? Alley -oop. He has the Lotus Orb on him for now, but it looks like he will go down. He has a stun. He wants to make it to the hill, but he can't quite make it. Ewels. And he goes down. Yeah, but one kill for the mid and the carry buybacks. Yep, as well as uh, they still do get the they get the melee barracks bottom, actually, the, the good racks. Yeah, they lost the mid one. Here we go, oh, the sorry, hook is going to fly, oh, wait, it actually will hit onto Ame, and look at this, he's just going to right click him down though, this member's already been used, and oh my goodness, yeah. Nisha is already dead, that Chrono's there, Roche is at 2,500 HP, you can't fight this now, he's going to throw some trees into the pit, there's going to be a tornado, they're trying to slow down, Nisha doesn't have buyback though, Zai doing as much damage as he can, Chalice is here with the Sandstorm, there will be a hook out, it actually will hit onto me, he didn't get the Aegis on Ame because of the hook out, but it won't matter, they turn it around and they get Two more kills. There's going to be a stun for Yaps, or he's the next one in trouble. Double kill in a godlike for the Shadow Fiend. Yeah, both heroes had already. Those are diebacks on the Pudge as well as the Slark. Yep. And Vlad's complete on the ET. Oof. I mean, you you were 14k down, right? You you had to try to make something happen, and they go way behind. Slark can't commit. Are they arguing about what to do? I don't know. Ame was just like he was like, I'm just going to hit the rags. <laughs> and you just see someone is like, what? Why? We have presence aura affects buildings, and there's still two heroes dead that die back. They're just going to right-click this throne. It doesn't look like they can defend this. Lotus Orb up on the Void. He has Does cheese the as well. There will be a toss. Doesn't quite make it to the fountain, but it looks like Chalice might go down here. Does, but right-click, <laughs> right-click. Doesn't matter. The game is over. And PSG LGD at 38 minutes, they, I don't want to say, but it looks like they stomp secret that